Hello and welcome back to Just Some Space Guy. I'm here with another Eden Zero theory video. So as you know, I am out of ideas since my last video. So I was kind of thinking about what to make and got on conclusion that I have absolutely no idea. Until I read the recent Eden Zero chapter, chapter 186, and I just got a spark. It might not be a big thing, just a itty bitty spark, but that's far enough for me to make some kind of theory. To be real, that after that one video, it's clear that my imagination runs wild sometimes. The theory is going to be about the incoming fight between Brigandir and Homura. But before I start my video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's free and help the channel grow and reach more people and potentially help enough that I can make enough money to get rid of that cursed watermark in the corner of the video. Anyway, back to the video. So in the current chapter 186 of Eden Zero, we got the setup for the fights against the Dark Stars. Shigi against Wizard, I think that's how he is called, Weiss against Killer, and I'm glad we got his old look back to a degree, his new look was kinda edgy, and Rebecca against Joker, <coughs> I mean Clown, and most importantly Brigandir against Homura. I'm currently going to ignore all the other fights, because from what I've seen so far, the most important fights are going to be Shiki contra Wizard and Homura contra Bigger Brigandir. But now I'm just going to concentrate on the Homura fight. So the fights start off with them getting teleported into a different dimension leaving Brigandir and Homura behind in the arena. We actually get a pretty interesting or should I say cute interaction between them. Seems like neither Brigandir and Homura understand or like the technological stuff, making them kinda think similarly. What makes no sense because Brigandir is an android, but let's just ignore that. Brigandir also says that he likes the arena and it fits the fight. Then he proceeds to say that he is the counterpart of Valkyr and he represents the armor of the Dark Stars, compared to Valkyr who was the sword of Edens. But one thing what got my attention about this is, what if him being the counterpart of Valkyr actually holds much deeper value than just being the opposite of her. Valkyr is the sword of Edens and Homura's master, and even more than just her master. During some war or conflict, Valkyr was on planet Oedo and found Homura as a child. Abandoned by her mother, Valkyr felt sorry for her and decided to become Homura's mentor. This mentor and student relationship was obviously just an excuse. She was actually not just training her, but slowly grow to become Homura's mother, or mother figure, I mean. Then she left searching for Homura's real mother because she started to feel guilty for trying to replace Homura's real mother, the biological mother. Of course, we know already that Homura's biological mother is a scum, and Valkyr was the only mother she ever needed. Now, what if Brigandir actually represents the opposite of this? Valkyr represents the mother, and the opposite of a mother is a father. What if Brigandir is going to be some kind of father figure to her, even if for a short time period? I know this might sound weird because they are currently enemies, but the things can always change in the future. As far as my observation goes of Brigandir, he seems and feels strange, like he is constantly sad or he is staring into nothingness. 
his facial expression, or if we can call it like that, is kind of like that of a facial expression of someone who solved many things and is done with life. What if he is planning to get defeated by the hands of Homura, to get free from Ziggy's control over him? And during this battle, he might give some life lessons for Homura, what fits for a father figure. We know that Homura is currently going through a lot. He was abandoned by her mother as a child, as I said before. The person who raised her and she respected as her mother died because of her biological mother. Then when she met someone she found interesting, the person died right in front of her eyes, without she being able to do anything. It's like she's destined to lose someone important to her constantly. We know that she never had father figure before, and I personally think a father figure might help her get through these hard times, or perhaps give her a push to be able to move on easier, without putting too much pressure on herself. Brigandir could potentially fill this position. Even if he dies during this arc by the hands of Homura, he could give her wisdom or make her realize things during the battle, or after. Or perhaps make her value, her value herself more, or be more pride about herself. Brigandir's face is based on a lion, and lions are associated with pride. He could pass some of that pride to Homura to make her emotionally more stable and stronger. Or if he doesn't die in the Ark, he could join as a member or a temporary member for the crew. It will definitely piss Zegi off. I also can imagine that in the fight Homura defeats him and he is taken as a prisoner and during this time he grows affection toward Homura as a father. And in some Ark in the future he sacrifices himself to protect Homura who he sees as his daughter. This could continue the Homura taking emotional damage cycle. But, regard but regardless, I am pretty sure that in this battle we are going to get character development for Homura, since it was teased at the beginning of the arc, like twice. First right after the time skip and after that in the water park. So she got something started for her, I just feel it in my old dusty bones. But that's my theory in a nutshell. Few details what I also noticed in the chapter that you might find interesting. Brigandir Mark 1 design was a rhino or a rhinoceros bug, but Brigandir's Mark 2 design was changed to a lion, and they are currently fighting in an arena. Lions were used in ancient Rome to fight against gladiators. The battle mech what Hermit fine-tuned for Holy is originally meant to be used by witch, but is clearly visible by the head design of the armor, and the name is also a reference to her, but I am definitely not going to pronounce that. Justice hold grudge against Homura, because Jess made them believe she was the one who killed Creed, and now Justice is on the planet. If they meet, I can easily see this arc getting a twist. But that's for today. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I might have said this before, but I need to make sure that you are going to click on that button. Please click on that button, it helps really, please click. If you have anything to add to the theory or perhaps correct me, feel free to do in the comment section below. See you guys next time in another video.